Home sales in Arizona are decreasing big time right now. So for example, this November compared to November of 2020, close home sales in Arizona are down by about 52%. On top of that, close home sales compared to November of 2019 are also down by more than 40%. I'll share that, plus some other trends we're seeing right now in the Arizona housing market, especially regarding inventory levels and home prices as well. This is based on a new report from the Arizona Realtors Association, and which covers, by the way, a wide range of um, home types. They look at transactions and homes for sale for single family houses, condos, townhomes, and apartments. This report here, by the way, was just announced a couple days ago, which covers the month of November here. Let's first talk about listings, which I wanna provide some context regarding this because they define a listing as a house for sale and also pending listings. So they're including homes for sale, but also homes under contract with a home buyer. So according to the Arizona Realtors, listings decreased by 14.3% year over year. Um, now, I also wanna provide some context though, because according to altosresearch.com, when looking at the, the number of houses for sale, excluding houses under contract with a home buyer, that decreased by 17% year over year. That's actually early December this year through, or compared to early December last year down by about 17%. Also, housing inventory is down by about 23% compared to the same week of 2019. Also, for comparison's sake, when looking at late April this year compared to late April of last year, uh, housing inventory increased a whopping 80%. So how wild is that? In April this year, we saw a giant increase of 80% more houses for sale compared to the previous year. Now we're down by about 17%. And by the way, due to the surge of inventory levels in the spring and summer months of last year, that's one of the main reasons why home prices in Arizona, and frankly, uh, nationwide, also decrease as well. Here's exactly what I mean by this, because back in uh, March of 2022 in Arizona, according to AltosResearch.com, there was about 5,233 homes for sale in Arizona. Look at this though, the joint surge of inventory levels especially in the spring and summer months. And by the time we hit um, October, we had nearly four times more houses for sale in Arizona compared to March. So in the span of just seven months, inventory levels quadrupled in the state, which is absolutely insane. Now compare this to this year, right now there's around uh, 15,575 um, houses for sale uh, in Arizona. Compare this to the trough, which is really in July, let's just call it June, there's around 11,175. So a small increase of inventory levels uh, uh, this year, whereas last year inventory levels were absolutely skyrocketing, which, one, which is one of the main reasons why home prices decreased so much in the second half of 2022. When we zoom out going back to December of 2018, uh, it really kind of uh, provides some context regarding this small increase of inventory levels this year. So right now, uh, just under 16,000 homes for sale. Back in the same time frame last year, there was just under 19,000. Back in December 3rd of 2021, 7,800. 2020, at around 11,000. Again, right now, just under 16,000. Back in 2019, over 20,000. And back in uh, December 2018, over 27,000 houses for sale. So big picture here, in my personal opinion, even though we have far fewer homes for sale compared to pre-pandemic levels right now, uh, we're not experiencing this sharp increase of inventory, uh, which really shocked the housing market in Arizona last year. This year, only experiencing a small increase uh, this year. In fact, uh, something I noticed here as well is that we actually have fewer homes for sale in Arizona right now compared to the start this year. So for the week ended January 6th, there were 16,332 houses for sale. Now there's under 16,000. Compare this to the same time frame last year, uh, to start the year, we were at 7,241. And by the time we hit this time last year, 
it increased to nearly 19,000. In my personal opinion, because inventory uh, appears to have peaked, let me just zoom in right here, inventory peaked uh, very late uh, in uh, late November this year, but because it appears that inventory levels have peaked this year, we shouldn't expect to see the sharp pullback in prices uh, this year like we saw last year. Time will tell though because uh, next year, if new listings were to increase big time, then of course that would cause inventory levels to also increase, which of course would put downward pressure on prices in 2024. Of course, make sure you're subscribed to this channel. I'll definitely keep you posted with the latest developments. All right, with that said, let's talk about home prices. And when, I, when I'm talking about home prices, I mean the median sole price uh, statewide. So according to the uh, Realtor Association here in Arizona, the median sole price was just under $336,000. That's a decrease of 1.6% compared to November of 2022. It's also worth noting here that even though prices have decreased um, by a little bit uh, compared to 12 months ago, they still have increased by about 24% compared to November of 2020 because back then the median sole price was only $271,000. Something I noticed as well uh, is this right here. Here's an Excel file I made uh, regarding uh, the median sole price over the past several years here. So right now the uh, median sole price is around 336,000. Like I said, a decrease of 1.6% compared to 12 months ago. That marks the second yearly decrease since May this year. That's because from June through uh, September this year, we saw positive gains on a year year basis. And also in August, we reached all time record highs at $384,000. Something worth mentioning as well is that prices did increase by 1% compared to October uh, from uh, $332,000 to about $336,000, a gain of 1%. This is also quite the improvement compared to what happened last year because in November compared to October last year, we saw a decrease of 2.8% versus a 1% gain this month. Something worth mentioning here as well is that prices have decreased by about 13% uh, compared to the all-time record highs that was set back in August this year. All right, let's get back to this report here because they have a look at the month supply. So in Arizona, the month supply is at 3.86 months. This means at the current sales pace for all houses listed for sale, assuming no new listings were to hit the market, all houses would be sold in 3.86 months. Um, something that I do not agree with the Realtors Association here is they, they're saying here that we need a six month supply in order to have a balanced real estate market. A balanced real estate market means that neither buyers nor sellers have a competitive advantage over the other. So at 3.86 months, assuming that a balanced market is at six months, this would assume that less than six months will be a seller's market in which sellers have an advantage over home buyers. So at 3.86 uh, months, this implies a strong seller's market. So my question to the Arizona realtors is, why is it a strong seller's market if home prices have decreased by 1.6% compared to 12 months ago. That doesn't make any sense, right? Why would we have a very strong um, seller's market in which sellers have a clear advantage of our home buyers when prices decrease over the past 12 months? But, you know, let me know what you guys think about this. Uh, please leave me a comment below. Something else I want to discuss as well that you should be aware of here, uh, this is the uh, number or, or the share of price reductions in Arizona. So the share price drops in um, April 1st last year was at 20%. Look at the sharp rise we saw last year though, because by the time we hit, when was this? Uh, June 24th, the share price reductions doubled. So in the span of what, April through uh, July, the share price reductions doubled. And by the time we hit um, November, the share price drops was at nearly 58%, going from, what was this, 20% to 58% from April through November last year. That's again, one of the main reasons why prices tanked last year. Whereas this year, we started the year uh, at 48.57%. Now it has decreased to 
43.18%. So the share price rejections has been relatively flat all year, which is much different compared to what happened last year when the share price drops absolutely skyrocketed, especially during the spring and summer months. And with that said, please comment below your biggest takeaways from today's video. Also, if you guys got any value out of this video whatsoever, then please hit the like button. I appreciate that. Of course, appreciate you. Hope you guys have an awesome day. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.